this is David Stark from WatcherPass.com, your website for movie reviews, interviews, and recommendations. Today, I'm talking with Julian Richings, who plays the Emperor in Spare Parts, which releases on VOD, digital, Blu-ray, and DVD on June 1st, 2021. We're going to talk to him in just a second, but first, let's check out the trailer, and while you're watching, if you can like and subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. A long way from home, aren't you? Just trying to get our name out there, man. Oh, uh, you're gonna get your name out there. I got a feeling you're gonna be filling arenas soon. What have you done to me? It's okay. You've been chosen. Chosen? Yeah. To appease the gods. Ladies! Every day is a sunshine day. If you want to survive. It's gonna take a lot of work. What if I choose death instead? You're not ready to die, so fight for your life. And let's have some fun. So thank you so much for joining me. This is Julian Richings, who, uh, who stars in two movies that are coming out uh, fairly soon. Spare Parts, which is releasing on June 1st, 2021, and Anything for Jackson, which is releasing on June 15th, 2021. Um, you know, let's start with uh, Spare Parts. You play the Emperor in that film. I do. Um, it's, it's, it must have been a fun role for you. I guess, how did you, how did you find this project, and what appealed to you about, I mean, I guess being the boss is always fun, so what, what, was, what appealed to you about this film? Well, he's a, a very nasty character, and they're a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I, I mean, he really does rule a horrible world. It's a post-apocalyptic grindhouse world um, that, you know, it's like, uh, it's, it's, it's the embodiment of punk, I guess. It sort of feels like you've walked into a basement, and suddenly uh, your normal take on society has gone out the window, and it's got an extra edge and a tweak to it. But as a result, it's propelled by this incredible energy. And, and the whole film is like that. And that, for me, is the exciting thing about the film is that our heroes are four women in a punk band and they become, I won't give too much away, but they do become gladiators and they, they, they're sort of surgically altered um, and adjusted. But then they fight that. They use that to fight their way out to freedom. And it doesn't necessarily work for all of them, but it's kind of a, a, just a very basic premise uh, we we kind of get it. We know it. We know that world, but it's just got this manic energy and um, kind of a fun vibe to it. And so, for me to play the ruler of this crazy world is just uh, <laughs> it's just fun. And did the, so did the energy come through when you were looking at the product, or did it come through when you got pitched? Because I loved you know energy is a great way to describe it. I love just kind of like the the rebellious nature and the music and, and the lighting. It was all just really, really fun to see. When, when did you kind of realize that that's how, what this project was going to be like? When I walked on the set, well, I, I knew Andrew. So I knew that he would pull together these kind of elements because they're what he likes. Um, and he's very shrewd and discerning. But when I really knew it would be amazing was when I walked onto the set because, I mean, it's a junkyard in the middle of uh, northern Ontario. And there are all these cars that create a, a gladiator's arena. And it is fantastic. And it is kind of heavy metal grunge. Uh, and we shot it at night with all these lurid colors, the wind whipping in, because it was November. It was really cold as, as evidenced by the, the steam coming out of our, <laughs> our mouths for every word that we spoke. You know, there was a kind of like the, just a gory, grainy thing that went on. So that was it. Like there was in, in many ways, there was no acting required uh, once you were there. It was like, just give it, you know, just go for it. Uh, sort of like being a, on a theater stage in some ways. So oh, it, it had that size to it, uh, especially for my character, who was often making big pronouncements and speaking to the masses, you know. So so that was that was fun. So for me, it was uh, it was pretty straightforward but uh, again the script was smart enough to give me moments where I, I had my uh, in, insular sort of uh, introspective moments with a partner who I was needing for advice and who could tell me that I was making the right decision and stuff so it had its moments of calm before the, the storm. Before the, the, the wonderful punk storm. That's really interesting yeah. that you described it as a as a like a, a theater. Yeah, it's like a it's like a junkyard coliseum. It's it's a really kind exactly. of perfect way to describe yeah. it. Yeah. 
um, I heard I talked to Andrew earlier and I heard that the cast kind of went out to, to maybe see some punk shows kind of get in the mood. Were you able to participate in those or was that uh, outside uh, your schedule? I, I wasn't just because of shooting schedules, yeah. but it's in my blood. It, I, <laughs> you know, I grew up in, in the British punk scene um, and was it was very influential. And I went to see all those classic early concerts, um, mainly British, some some Americans, like the Ramones were one of them, but it. it so it feels innate to me. So I get it. You know, you don't have to describe it. It's just like that. It's energy. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a really, really fun film to, to film. And it, it comes through in the movie itself. Like the movie itself is it's high energy. It, it seems like the cast is having a good time, despite the terrible things that are happening. So. And they are terrible things. I mean, there is no two ways about it. <laughs> it is terrible. And there are times when I watch it, and I go, I can't believe we're doing this. But again, it's kind of in the, in, in the spirit of pushing the envelope and going, yep, we're going to do it. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah exactly exactly it's, yeah. it's definitely a throwback to some of the older kind of like grindhouse films but it, it it's also has a very modern kind of take with strong female leads and you know some badass fighting so it was definitely a fun yeah. movie to watch great i'm glad you liked it now, um so I, I like to move i call it the lightning round they're just very short lightweight questions uh that relate to the film i want to see how your experiences relate to the yep. things that happen to the characters have you ever been in the band i mean you mentioned you're in the punk scene have you been that into the punk scene uh, no, I've never been a band. Um, I've been surrounded by musicians and I followed bands. And my brother was quite involved in following the Stranglers. We, uh, for a while, there was a whole coterie of people that followed those guys and they sort of identified as a particular group of people. He, he, uh, but no, I've never been in the band. And if, so if you had to choose, I mean, you don't fight in this film, but if you were one of the gladiators, would, if you had to choose to lose an arm or a leg, which would you choose? <laughs> Oh dear me! What a terrible! Well, that's an awful question. I, I, this is inspired by the film. <laughs> oh my goodness me! That's awful. Well, it would have to be my left hand because I'm right-handed. Okay. I, uh, I I think mobility. I value mobility over dexterity. So so I value sort of being. I would drive everybody I know crazy if I couldn't pace around. Oh, if, if you know if, if i was left to a, a device to help me uh, get around it, it would drive people crazy so i'm thinking of others no that's great and you know, mobility is important especially since we've all been locked in our houses for a while you want oh, to get out yeah. and move that yeah. makes sense um have you ever used a chainsaw i yes yes but tentatively i okay. again i grew up in the wrong country in the wrong environment Excellent. And uh, if you had to choose a weapon to enter the arena, uh, it, it can be a weapon from the film, it can be a weapon of your choice, what weapon would you choose? Well, it would have to be something that overcame every other uh, participant. <laughs> so it would have to be some sort of like super weapon, like a, a heavy duty assault rifle, or it would be a, a Star Wars type thing that, that you know, zapped people. Um, yeah, so I nothing hand to hand. I think the idea of hand to hand combat is terrifying. Yes, well, and luckily you're the emperor, so you didn't have to do that. But yeah, no, I agree. That would be you definitely want to have an advantage because there were some brutal battles in that film. Yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. And so these films both come out in June. Uh, Spare Parts comes out on VOD, digital, Blu ray, and DVD on June 1st, 2021. And Anything for Jackson comes out on those same platforms on June 15th, 2021. You're going to be promoting them. Uh, I guess, you know, what is next for you? Your, your resume is, is insanely prolific. So I'm sure there's plenty of things coming up. But, you know, what, what's next for you after these films? I, I've, um, I, in the fall, I was lucky. I was filming during COVID in the Maritimes bubble, which was in an area of Nova Scotia where um, we, we filmed an adaptation of Stephen King's Jerusalem's Lot. Uh, it's been, it's a short story, but it's been turned into a mini series of oh, 10 cool. episodes called chapel weight which was is the name of the, the haunted house that that is features in the show it stars adrian brody and emily hampshire and it will be out soon it will be out i think next month that's awesome more horror please more more of you thank you so much this is a this is a lot of fun thank you so much for your time i appreciate it thanks very much take care bye that was Julian Richings talking about Spare Parts, which releases on DVD, VOD, digital, and Blu-ray on June 1st, 2021. If you liked this interview, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot to make sure all my new interviews go straight to you. And as always, please go to watcherpass.com for all your movie reviews, interviews, and recommendations. Thank you.